Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Trade of the Week on Monday, the 4th of March. Last week, we went short the S&P 500 because we had some negative divergence on the daily uh, uh, relative strength index. But that uh, got voided as we made new record highs around the 5,140 area. But our stop loss, uh, because we gave ourselves some leeway, is around 5,200. So we are still uh, within this trade at the moment because we haven't been stopped out. And yes, the trade did start off with um, a slight decline in the S&P 500, but then uh, the advance did continue. And the question is whether this advance we saw on Thursday and Friday of last week will continue and stop us out this week or not. So that trade is still ongoing, even though short term we are on the wrong side of it. With regards to this week, what I would like to do is look at the euro against the uh, US dollar, because uh, what we can see here is kind of interesting. We may have seen what is called an ABC Elliott wave correction, and that would mean that uh, we continue our advance that we've seen from the mid-February lows. And the fact for me that we've risen back above the 200-day simply moving average here at 108.31 uh, does point towards further upside being seen. So what I would like to do is to uh, go long uh, euro dollar with a very tight stop. And even if we are wrong, because after all, we've got the uh, Fed uh, speaker um, or the Fed chair, uh, Jerome Powell, speaking this week. And we also have the uh, European Central Bank uh, having its monetary policy, both of which may obviously uh, move the currency pair quite drastically. But since the risk is basically pretty small and the potential profit is pretty big, because I would like to sort of cash this trade in probably around the 109.44 mark or so, um, it still makes to, uh, sense to, to uh, jump onto the bandwagon for this one. So this week's trade of the week is to go long euro dollar at around 108.44 with an upside target around 109.44 to 110 and a tight stop loss at 107.94.